फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट दिस बिल डज नॉट फॉर्म पार्ट ऑफ वट इज कोल्ड द हिंदू कोड सीरीज ऑफ बिल्स नेवर द लेस इट इज कनेक्टेड विद द वेरियस चेंजेस दैट आर सो टू बी ब्रोट अबाउट सो दैट इट मे बी कंसिडर्ड ब्रोडली स्पीकिंग अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट अप्रोच ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट मैनी ईयर्स वी दिस हाउस एंड इट्स प्रिडिसेसर्स हैव बिन कंसिडरिंग दिस मैटर इन वेरियस फॉर्म्स एट लीस्ट वन टू और थ्री ओकेजन्स आई गेव एन एश्योरेंस टू दिस हाउस दैट वी शैल एक्सपीडाइट दिस मैटर बट सम हाउ और अदर माई एश्योरेंस डिड नॉट प्रोड्यूस मच इफेक्ट ऑन द सिचुएशन एंड इन स्पाइट ऑफ आवर विशेज there has been delay it is true that in a matter of this kind one cannot rush on and one has to give every consideration to various view points in this house as well as outside nevertheless it is rather unfortunate that there has been such considerable delay therefore it is a matter of peculiar satisfaction to me that we are at last coming to grips with these problems in the shape of this bill and one or two others that will follow i am not scholar enough to discuss the niceties of hindu law but i have dabbled in some broad studies of law and custom and history and cultural developments my own conception of hindu society has been that it is essentially dynamic not static and unchangeable indeed the mere fact that it has lasted a long time is due to a certain dynamism which has enabled it to adapt itself to changing conditions gradually hindu society became rather static through the hardening of the caste system and in various other ways this process was spread over hundreds of years and the final seal was set upon it with the advent of british government in this country whenever we talked of hindu law we always talked of hindu law and custom which meant that custom was gradually changing hindu law that is as conditions changed customs developed which affected the law in practice whatever it might have been in the ancient texts of course there are so many ancient texts that one can quote the scripture for any argument anyhow the coming of the british as i said made the whole conception static because they codified our law and did so with the help of the most conservative sections of the community here we have gone through political revolution in this country and become independent we are going through a process of economic change there is another aspect which is equally important and that is social change i do not think it is possible for you to think in terms of political change ignoring economic and social change most people now admit that economic change is as necessary as political change but some people seem to think that social change using the word in a narrower context is something entirely different from political 
and economic matters and that social life can be kept a closed preserve i submit that this is not the right outlook because life is an integrated whole if the political context changes or the economic outlook varies it follows that the social context also changes whether you wish it or not therefore a true revolution in a country must take into account all the three aspects together the person who considers himself a political revolutionary but a reactionary or a conservative in the economic sense or in the social sense is not an integrated person he lives in compartments take the problem of untouchability i cannot quote the sacred books but many people hold that the sacred books enjoined it on them nevertheless we came to the conclusion long ago that it must be done away with not only because it was unjust but as gandhi ji repeatedly said for the very survival of hindu society that is to say this important social change became essential even from the narrower point of view of hindu society itself that manner of thinking has to be applied to other problems of human relationships as well after all the biggest problems of the world are human relationships whether of one individual with another or an individual with a group or one group with another group so far as this particular bill is concerned as the house knows it is a permissive measure it is not forced down anybody's throat it is essential to have permissive measures as a half way course which will lead to other measures i do not propose to say anything about the clauses of the bill i think that as the bill has emerged from the council of states it would be desirable to make alterations or amendments only here and there not in regard to any big principles this is not we all know any kind of a party measure it is a measure affecting all of us the bill concerns not merely hindus for it is a permissive measure which anybody can take advantage of stop